Алия Салимжуарова, and I'm responsible for power sector at Kazakh Invest. Uh, let me first of all to thank all the organizers of this important event. So I present a national company called Kazakh Invest, which acts as a single negotiator on behalf of the government of the Republic of Kazakhstan on investment issues. Through our network of regional and foreign representatives, we provide full range of services to support investment projects on the principle of one window, meaning to assure support of investment projects, starting from the idea, uh, going through implementation period, uh, and we also provide um, so-called post-investment period support. So let me first of all, to share my screen with my short PPT. So, hope you see it. So here you can see uh, the main roles of Kazakh Invest in support of the investment projects. So, in frames of my uh, intervention, I would like to give a short overview on renewable energy sector development in Kazakhstan. And I would start my uh, presentation uh, from the indicators that were set in order to decrease CO2 emission in the country. On the slide, there are two documents mentioned um, and which actually set the important targets to foster the development of renewable energy sources. They are strategy of Kazakhstan development uh, till 2050. And the second very important document is the concept of transition to a green economy which set a targets of renewable energy sources development 3% in 2020, 6% in 2025, 10% uh, in 2030, and 50% by 2050. By signing Paris Agreement, Kazakhstan also set a target to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 15 below uh, 1990 levels by 2030. So, um, Kazakhstan has a great potential for the development of renewable energy sources. Here on the slide, you can see some of them. And of course, uh, on the right slide, uh, side of the slide, you can also see the important steps uh, framed in kind of a timeline uh, of the renewable energy sources development, meaning the development of legislative framework uh, of renewable energy sources. So the start was in 2009 when the law on renewable energy sources development was uh, and support was adopted. Afterwards, uh, uh, from 2013 till 2017, uh, the country had so-called fixed tariffs mechanism, which were replaced by the auction bidding mechanism uh, with the introduction of uh, auctions with so-called uh, ready-made project documentation in 2019. And last year, we achieved our first indicator equaled uh, to 3% of renewable energy sources uh, in total generation of the country. The total installed capacity of renewable energy sources is already 1,635 megawatt, which equals to 115 renewable energy facilities. To mention through 2018-2020, uh, more than 170 companies from 12 countries participated at the auction. Financial settlement, uh, Center signed 15 year PPA with 58 companies. At the same time, we achieved a substantial tariff decrease, especially for solar, more than 60%. Uh, so, 
why there is a great, great interest to participate in, uh, in renewable energy auctions. Mainly, it's a state support, which, among other things, ensures the conclusion of a long-term contract for the purchase of electricity, uh, as well as the provision of so-called investment preferences. So, power purchase agreement concluded with the auction winner for the period uh, of 20 years, since uh, 2021. And moreover, we have uh, annual tariff indexation after a year operation of the station. Uh, the formula is 70% for the exchange rate of the national currency to convertible currencies and 30% for CPI. This formula aimed at a reduction of the risk of investors when the exchange rate of the national currency changes. Moreover, the auction winner is awarded by priority dispatch and exemption from payment uh, for services of elect electric grid companies. To mention uh, this year, due to uncertainties and um, pandemic situation, many renewable energy projects faced, uh, faced with uh, problems with the delivery of, of equipment and workforces. And to mention lots of works were on hold. Uh, from Kazakh Invest side, we supported projects in many cases, including work with the local authorities even on ordinal issues, um, as many things started to be online since March, it's already one year that we are working um, in such environment. And actually not everyone uh, could be on track with new developments, uh, but I need to mention this, despite of the pandemic situation, the investment contracts were concluded and we are pleased to mention that a number of projects in renewable energy sources were commissioned. Um, one of the important measures that were taken by the government of the Republic of Kazakhstan is uh, with regard to renewable energy projects. Uh, we had a prolongation for uh, all the companies who are um, implemented projects in the renewable energy, by, um, in construction of renewable energy facility, uh, we had a prolongation uh, of the PPA for one year uh, period. And we also had a prolongation um, of the deadlines for providing a copy of a notification on the beginning of construction and installation works. Um, and so the, usually when you have uh, some kind of difficulties, you, you have a penalties. But for, um, for the current year due to the uh, COVID-19 situation, we didn't have uh, such kind of penalties. And one of the most important things which happened uh, to support renewable energy sources also this year, uh, renewable energy sources last year were included in a list of priority activities in our country. Uh, this uh, means that all the um, companies implementing projects in the field of renewable energy sources are uh, provided by almost all types of investment preferences, including the tax ones. In accordance, uh, on the right side of the slide, you can see the state investment support for renewable energy sources. In accordance with the legislation of the Republic of Kazakhstan, legal entities that are implementing uh, investment projects on construction renewable energy facilities can conclude investment contract or investment priority contracts. The last one differs from the investment contract by the amount of investment. For the setup of new production plant, it's um, 2 million monthly calculated index, which equals around 13 USD, million USD. And expanding uh, of a new um, plants, it's around 5 million monthly calculated index, uh, which is equals to 32 million USD. Uh, thus, the conditions of state support means uh, measures uh, on the type of investment contract. In frames of the investment contract, uh, as you can see on the table, 
uh, applicant can apply for the exemption from custom duties on import and exemption from VAT on import of uh, raw materials, which is granted for a period of five years. Uh, moreover, it's a state in kind grant. It should be noted that the maximum amount of the state in kind grant in accordance with the legislation should, uh, should be not more than 30% of investments. Uh, so, under the investment priority contract, companies uh, are entitled to almost all types of preferences, as I mentioned before. First of all, it's exemption of, um, except, uh, ex um, first of all, it's a package of preferences uh, includes uh, exemption from custom duties, state in kind grant, and tax preferences for the um, creation of a new production facilities is CP, CPM for 10 years, land tax for 10 years, and property tax for eight years. For the expansion or um, renovation of, of existing facility, it's only CPM, but for three years. There are some, um, what were the results in, uh, on renewable energy uh, sources developments in 2020? And uh, here on the slide, you can see some kind of results uh, which we had um, based on the auctions, which we had last year. So there are 27 participants uh, and was on the, uh, they were uh, Kazakhstani and foreign companies from four countries. Um, there were 16, pro 16 investment projects were chosen for implementation and the total installed capacity, as you can see, was around um, 147 megawatt. Here you can see the types of facilities also. And um, I would also mention that uh, the total volume of requests received from the auction participants was more than 493 megawatt. It means that the volume of requests exceeded the volume of supply by almost two times. Uh, that was a very great interest for the wind power plants construction. Uh, and uh, it was actually the biggest interest from the investors in such types of auctions. And um, the requests exceed the volume of supply by almost five times. There also was a tariff decrease for wind is 27%, for solar 14%, and for hydro 13%. On the slide, uh, I just wanted to show what kind of step, steps we have uh, as soon as the, we have the auction winner. First of all, it's the conclusion of PPA with Financial Settlement Center for 20 years. Uh, and here you can see the schedule, how to make it actually. Then is a uh, submission of a finan financial uh, assurance of the PPA within 30 days after PPA conclusion. Then you have the um, conclusion of investment contract with the Committee on Investment of the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And also you have some kind of obligations uh, with regard to the um, start and commissioning of the um, project um, of the project um, start of the construction works on the site in uh, you should start it in due time uh, it's also indicated in ppa uh, so for solar projects it's 12 months for wind projects uh, and for uh, biogas projects it's around 18 months for hpp it's uh, 24 months and you should commission the power plant in a due time as well for solar 24 months, for wind and for biogas projects 33, 36 months, for hydro projects is 60 months from the date of signing of the PPA. And you also should comply with the generation schedule and facilitate the qualitative forecasting. And here, Mm, I just want to share my thoughts on the further development of renewable energy sources in the Republic of Kazakhstan, especially for the solar power plants. 
Uh, first of all, what is essential for us is the energy saving mechanism development because the number of renewable energy facilities is growing very fast and the interest of uh, investors from all over the world for um, renewable energy sources um, is growing day to day. And uh, uh, for us, it's very important to create the working energy saving mechanism. Moreover, we, uh, we have a very good, Mm, high requests for the balancing capacities. And one of the balancing capacities which we want to develop is a hydro program. And moreover, we have uh, the demand for gas pipeline projects. And uh, of course, we want to increase the renewable energy uh, sources in total generation of our country. And we, as you remember, we have a clear indicators for renewable energy developments. Of course, uh, we want to uh, have low scale, scale renewable energy sources for small uh, and medium enterprises. Currently, our company is working on the under the mechanism and want to involve um, uh, different government authorities in order to implement such, ki uh, such kind of low-scale renewable energy projects. Of course, uh, we work on the energy efficiency development. Of course, we need to support innovations uh, in renewable energy field and energy efficiency field. And of course, we need to work on the improvement of legislative framework to mention, since uh, the adoption of law on renewable energy support, every year we have some amendments in the legislation in order to provide best market conditions for the investors. And every year we um, make new steps in order to make um, our legislation more flexible. For instance, uh, this year we had an amendment which prolonged the PPA for 20 years instead of 15 years. Uh, moreover, uh, we had uh, tax preferences, as I mentioned before, for renewable energy facilities starting from uh, February 2020. So uh, a lot of work is done, but of course we are not going to stop here and we will uh, follow our, um, our way and of course we'll create more and more um, flexible conditions for the investment support in renewable energy field. Um, uh, here I just wanted to mention some, some work which is done by Kazakh Invest to support renewable energy projects. And to mention, we have so-called three-layered collaboration. First layer, um, how, it, how it works actually, we have the ministries and government authorities and local partners who send us uh, kind of a request for the investments. Based on the, this information, we select the investment opportunities uh, and local partners for the investment project implementation. As a second layer, through our regional and foreign representatives and embassies, we approach foreign investors and strategic partners and propose to consider the investment opportunities for participation in investment projects in energy sector. Uh, we have a lot of consultations, seminars uh, with the potential investors, and we are open to consult you on all the issues that you have. And we will be glad to provide you with all the support in order to have you on Kazakh ground. And we will be glad to provide you more information on renewable energy sources development as well. As a third layer, uh, we give our support for foreign investors in deal structuring 
in project implementation, of course, in conclusion of investment contract for obtaining of investment preferences. And of course, we support our investors in collaboration with local and government authorities. Um, so this kind of support can be provided by Kazakh Invest in order to support investors um, in, in Kazakhstan. And um, so here was a just short overview on renewable energy sources development in Kazakhstan. And I would like to thank you for your attention and I will be glad to hear your comments and questions afterwards. Thank you so much.